guys, Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about using formulas. Now, I think this is pretty much a review of something we did very early on in the year. You know, just how to use a formula. Here's what I mean. If we had A times B equals C, and I told you that B is 5 and A is 3, what would you do? Well, you would know to substitute A for 3 and B for 5 and then go ahead and do your math. Okay, let's do it. If A is 3 times B, which is 5, and we want to find out what C is, now we just simply multiply 5 times 3, we get 15 for C. And that would be our answer. Well, in math, we're going to start using formulas a lot where they're going to give you certain numbers and it's your jobs to substitute them in. So I'll give you a few more examples to practice this, but as I said, I think it's a review. I think we've done something similar to this before. Here I have four different formulas and I have the values for those formulas. Our job is just to plug in those values and evaluate. Here we go. X plus Y equals Z. Well, they told us that X was 18. 18 plus y is 6 and let's go ahead and find z. Well 8 and 6 is 14 and 1 and 1 is 2 so 24 is our answer for that formula. Different formula x minus y equals z so we're going to do 18 minus 6 and we know that gives us 12. Different formula gives us a different answer. How about this one? x times y equals z. Well, it's 18 times 6. Well, I don't know that in my head, so I'm going to do it off to the side. Let's do it right here. 18 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48. 6 times 1 is 6, and 4 is 10. So 108 is our answer. And our last one, x divided by y equals z. 18 We'll squeeze it in, divided by 6, so we know our answer is 3. So same values, but four different formulas give us four different answers. And that's it. When you have uh, some values for your, X, your variables, you're going to go ahead and substitute those in for your formulas, or into your formulas, and then you evaluate. I told you you got this one. Just a review. Okay? See you later. Bye-bye.